Hey guys, my name is Matamil, and today I want to try to convince you why you should be using the FAMAS in Rainbow Six Siege. Admittedly, Twitch is one of those operators that isn't very flashy. She can't insert balls into a room and get an easy kill. She doesn't have a gigantic hammer that allows her to open up a different route so that she can get the objective. And because of this, I think a lot of people write her off as just being more of a standard or mediocre operator. She doesn't really do anything all that impressive. As soon as you start to use the FAMAS though, you quickly realize that your first assessment of Twitch was completely wrong simply because the FAMAS is a disgusting weapon in the right hands. Uh, the reason why the FAMAS is an incredible weapon comes down to its rounds per minute and its damage. It has a RPM of 980, nearly 1000. I believe this is the highest RPM out of all the assault rifles. I could be wrong here. I know that there is, for some reason, a defensive pistol that has a higher RPM. But of all of the weapons that you have access to on the offensive team, I believe this is the highest. Now, all of this wouldn't mean anything if it shot marshmallows. A lot of other first-person shooters out there, if they have a weapon with a high RPM, an extremely high RPM, much like the FAMAS, they normally balance it out where every bullet hits a little bit less compared to the other weapons in the game. It has that high RPM to be able to make up for it, you're still able to take out people relatively quickly, but normally, you don't do a lot of damage per bullet. That is not the case in Rainbow Six Siege, and it's the reason why this weapon is disgusting. If you hit someone in the chest and they have one armor, and this is up close, this isn't sniping them from across the map, but if you hit them in the chest, you are going to do 39 damage per bullet. You hit in the limb, it's gonna drop down to 29. Two armored targets, you're gonna do 35, and then 26 in the limb, and then for three armored targets, finally, you're gonna hit them in the chest for 31 damage, and then if you hit them in the arm or the leg, you're gonna be dropping down to 20. This means that any operator that you're going against, even if you can only see their left toe for some reason, you put five bullets into that body part, you're gonna be able to drop your enemy from 100% to zero. On top of that insanely high RPM, you drop your enemies like nobody's business. I mean, hopefully you guys have been able to tell throughout today's video, I'm going for headshots, like I'm trying to line up the headshot. Of course, that's gonna be the always the fastest way at dropping your enemy, but even if I'm not able to, and I'm just able to shoot them directly, directly in the chest, people drop insanely fast when you are using the FAMAS. This is the true power of Twitch, and the reason why I have quickly fallen in love with this operator. Uh, one thing that you are gonna have to work around, though, is its recoil. All of this power does come with a price, and I would say that is in the recoil departments, because while it is manageable, it is higher compared to the other weapons in the game. With that high RPM, you, you hold down the trigger for an extended period of time, it's gonna be quite unruly to be able to maintain your accuracy. It's still possible, especially if your enemy is only about 10 meters away. If you wanna go full auto, feel, f feel free to do so because you can still maintain it and you're gonna be able to take them out no problem. But as soon as the target gets further and further away from you, that's where the FAMAS starts to lose some of its potential. And so in my opinion, what I recommend is that you burst fire this gun. Even if your enemy is relatively up close, you squeeze the trigger trigger for even a split second, because of that high RPM, it's gonna put enough bullets down range, it's gonna put four or five down range, where you're still gonna be able to take out your target, even if you're not able to line up that headshot. You are gonna have to watch out for your 30 round magazine, and this is another reason why I recommend burst firing, because if you just go full auto on, on your targets, and I'm even guilty of this sometime, you're gonna notice that I, I make this mistake every once in a while, where if you go full auto, you put an excessive amount of bullets in your enemy that weren't required to be able to take them out. As soon as you do that, you're left with maybe five rounds left in your magazine, and then you have to go through a fairly lengthy reload time. That gives the enemy plenty of opportunity to take advantage of that window and to be able to take you out. I've had a lot of embarrassing deaths where I was going through a reload and a second guy rounded the corner on me. While I was able to take out the first guy, no problem, I basically uh, shot him into oblivion, but the other enemy was able to round the corner while I was left with my pants down, and he was able to take me out absolutely no problem. And so, for most circumstances, burst firing the FAMAS is gonna be able to get the job done. Uh, I also recommend that you aim for your enemy's upper chest. Uh, not only because you're gonna be able to get that solid, consistent damage output, you're not gonna be hitting your enemy in the limb, but also because of that high recoil, it basically does the work for you to land and secure those headshots. Because the recoil is so high, if you start aiming
aiming at their head to begin with, uh, you might miss the third, fourth, or fifth shot because you're just aiming above their head because you're not able to reel in the recoil. Someone who's better at using this weapon, someone who's been using it for thousands of hours, might be able to just do that all day long, but if you're new to the weapon, what I recommend is burst fire or tap fire at the enemy's chest and allow the weapon to do all of the work for you. And so overall, this is the reason why I have fallen in love with Twitch recently in Rainbow Six Siege. She may not have the flashiest, flashiest of gadgets. They're still very good, and I, and I highly recommend that you take full advantage of her three drones. Her three drones can be invaluable information to your team, but admittedly, it's not as flashy as some of the other gadgets in the game. As soon as you start to get a grasp on how to use the FAMAS, though, you will quickly fall in love with this character because she is a monster in this game. And so if you haven't played as Twitch because you just didn't think that she was all that appealing, you thought that the other gadgets in the game were just better, I highly recommend that you try her out simply because of this weapon. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on this weapon. Do you agree with me? Do you love it? Do you absolutely hate it because of its high recoil? Let me know down below. Uh, but yep, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.